This is Jack from No Code MBA. Now, today we're going to look at card and talk about a really important feature when it comes to using no code website builders. Something that's going to help you get set up for the long term. Because a lot of people start by using something like card. It's very simple and there's a free version. But you might want to consider going pro because of this one thing. Now, we did make a review of card fairly recently. And I'll leave a link to that in the description so you can watch that video after this one. But I just wanted to go down to one of the main features when it comes to going pro. And it's this, custom domains. Okay, a custom domain. And it says here, publish sites to any custom domains you own with full SSL support. So that's that HTTPS, where it's a secure connection for people visiting your website, which is important if you process payments or any kind of information exchange on the website. Now, what this means, a custom domain, it means yourname.com, not yourname.card.co. Because on the free version, it allows you to do that for free, so you can be part of that, the card URL. But we believe it's important to get your own domain for two main reasons. Firstly, it's going to look more professional, yourname.com. And it also means that you can set up emails with yourname.com. Now, the other reason is that if you want to change website builders at some point in the future, then you can easily do that. Because what you own the domain name on a different website, and we'll look at a couple of websites in a second, and you, you kind of like point that domain name to the website builder to say, show, that, show those files and all the information onto the domain that I own. So that's important to know. So what you can do is you can start with something like Card, start with something like Squarespace. But if then you want to use something like WordPress or Webflow at a future date, you can build that website in the background while the Card website is still live and then just change it by changing the settings inside your domain name account. So the, they have documentation on this um, here where it says Card sites can be published to card.co. Um, URLs, custom domains, and custom subdomains. So this is going to tell you exactly how to do it to a custom domain, where it's yourname.com. And you can get your own domain on websites such as GoDaddy, and also on this one, which is Namecheap. And you can just have a little look. It's .coms here, .onlines. There are many different endings now when it comes to domain names, so you're not just having to get a .com. But that's a, a different video. What I just want to get across in this video is that when it comes to the card website, it's important to get that custom domain in most cases because you're going to want to own that domain. And also, if you change it at a later date, you're, the way that you build a website, you can simply just point it elsewhere. So if you want to learn more about no-code tools and get our free guide, I'll leave a link in the description for you so you can just click that into your details and we'll send it to your email address. If you want to build something using no-code tools like automations, website, web apps, and apps, then check out our courses and we'll show you how to do this using the best no-code tools out there. And then stay on YouTube by watching some more of our videos. I'll leave links to playlists in the description and also a link to the card review so you can learn more about this one-page website builder. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.